What's up guys? We're back here at Rodizio Grill. This time I have two different guests. These are my friends uh, Lauren and Andrew. Hello! Well, Lauren is from Texas. Andrew is not from Texas, but he lived there for a while. And uh, Texas is famous for uh, barbecue. <laughs> yeah, so Texas has a very distinct style of barbecue. It's very different from here. Before we get into the food and everything, what makes kind of Texas barbecue different than the rest of the barbecue in the US? What's One, it's, it's from Texas. <laughs> uh, two, maybe there's a little bit more, um, more involvement more uh, care put into the uh, the barbecue and you can definitely taste that mm. when uh, when you eat when you like eat barbecue. the way that you make the it. way you make it the time that's put into it the quality of meat and, you the know, way it's you like smoke the it the way you smoke it very intensive process cool well um, so they have a special going on right now they have three different types of ribs so it's kind of like an American style they have a Brazilian style okay. and then they have like a sweet and sour style we also have some Brazilian wine that we're gonna try we're gonna try eat the eat the ribs and uh, we'll see if it's uh, similar or different from from Texas barbecue. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Right. Stoked. Okay, so before we start eating the meat, <clears throat> there's all these different sides that we have. So like, I don't know, in Texas is it, what are like sides, like coleslaw? Cornbread, potato salad, um, beans, beer, You're a big one. Like baked beans, right? Yeah. Beer. <laughs> so the biggest difference so far is that wine instead of beer. Wine instead of beer. Um, <laughs> and polenta instead of cornbread. Polenta, yeah. So here's the polenta. What do you think, Lauren? It's different than cornbread. It's almost like, <laughs> like a fried outer layer. It's not as sweet as cornbread can be, but we usually put honey on it. So, oh, it's like in, in Texas, you put honey on the yeah. cornbread. Whereas See? this is more of like a savory. Yeah. So it's funny, like in Brazil, they have they have their own type of cornbread, mm -hmm. but it's almost like a it's almost like a cake. It's sweet okay. instead of interesting. Weird, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's different. Yeah. All right, so there's that. Um, there's also these. Have you ever tried these fried bananas? <laughs> yes, at Texas Day Brazil. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is almost like a dessert for me. Because it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And it has a cinnamon. Definitely nothing like that in Texas. No, um, I don't think they fry fruit and all that, all that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they do. I feel like in the South, though, they do like a fry oh, yeah. everything, though. Alright, so now we got the ribs, and these are the kind of traditional lemon ribs. So we'll go ahead and try it out and see what you guys think. <laughs> Definitely Brazilian. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. My dad cooks like that. Mm -hmm. So are all Brazilian ribs dry? Are there any sauces that you add? They're usually dry. They're dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't use a lot of sauce in the meat like US. Yeah. I feel like US really put sauce in the meat. It's usually pretty light. <laughs> yeah. Like flavoring on all the meats. Alright, so impressions? It's very good. Definitely a different flavor profile with the citrus. It's just kind of lighter. It's more like you're tasting the meat. The citrus kind of complements the meat more than you're tasting like the spice rub and the sauce, I guess. For me, it's definitely opened up a whole new idea <laughs> of a whole new world of like, oh my god, you can use citrus. Is this is this recipe like pretty common in the South? Wow. Well, you really remind me, reminds me of my dad's ribs. Okay. So I would think so. Okay. When I was in Brazil, I never actually ate ribs there, so this is like my first time experiencing it too. Really? Um, yeah. I don't think we ever ate ate ribs when I was in Brazil. Um, but anyway, they make it in like um, they they do it in the south anyway. They make it in the ground, like they build a fire pit in the ground, and then they kind of like put it up like a teepee. And that's how they that's how they cook it. I don't think that's what they're doing here unless they have it out back. <laughs> like a <laughs> yeah. fire pit in the ground. But, but this is one of the ways to make yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't be a trip to a chascaria if you didn't get some pecan. Okay. What's the uh, marinade? I think it's just salt. I don't even know if they do pepper or not. I think it might be just salt. That's like, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times, like, you don't know what the meat actually tastes like because it's covered in uh -huh. barbecue sauce. Barbecue, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> but depending on who you ask, that's a good thing. Well, I'm in, sure in Texas there are people who tell you that the sauce is all what it's all about. If, if you need sauce, it means your meat 
you didn't cook your meat well enough. So I think you're gonna, I think you like the meat in Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because I, I really don't remember any time eating like meat without a restaurant or at a barbecue that had a ton of, of sauce on it when I was in Brazil. Yeah. And here it's like a staple. It's like ketchup. Yeah. In, in Texas, is it, is it sweeter or the sauce or is it like spicier or? It depends. There's a couple of different ways to do the sauce and I feel like you, a lot of barbecue places have adopted having different styles of sauces so that some that are more like tomatoey and brown sugar sweet mm -hmm. and then some that are more like peppery and I've even seen barbecue sauces that are like almost yellow and I don't know what their base <laughs> is. Mustard. I guess it's more of a mustard type sauce. It's like a, it's like, it's a Carolina. In a more like vinegar base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends. I just think, why not put a really good sauce with a really good cut of meat? <laughs> <laughs> you can have the best of both worlds, people. I'm ready. <laughs> It was spicier than I thought it was going to be. Kind of sneaks up on you. <clears throat> this rib is definitely uh, messier. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is good. Yeah. It is more spicier. It is spicier. Mm -hmm. And one thing about eating ribs in the US is that if your fingers aren't dirty or messy at the end of it, you're not doing it right. Yeah. True. <laughs> Brazil, you don't have to get so dirty and delicious. Well, you know what? <laughs> if I were to pick so far, I like the lemon pepper better. Mm. Nice. So see, I'm open to change. <laughs> All right, so this last one, you should feel real at home. Okay. Because I think this is just uh, like an American style rib. Yeah, so looks like it. Nice and messy. Yeah. So American. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> oh, God. It's like sweet. And Super sweet. I think my favorite was um, the Brazilian yeah. one. Yeah, the lemon one we tried. I'd yeah. say the lemon, lemon pepper was, uh, was delicious. Mm -hmm. oh, God. I would say the lemon pepper, then the sweet and sour, and then this one. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm just getting really full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I cannot finish. Oh, no. I'm yeah, so cool. I think I agree. Yeah. The sweet and sour one was cool because it had like. It's like surprisingly spicy. I like the complexity of flavor. This one kind of just, I mean, it's tasty. There's nothing wrong with it. It just isn't as bold, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so round two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start again. All right, so <clears throat> talked about the ribs. What do you guys think of the other kind of cuts of meat? The other, uh, well, looks like the season. What do you think of the seasoning and the, the flavors? To be honest, they don't strike me as that different, other than the lemon pepper with the beef. I, I like the idea of cooking meat by itself, nothing else, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And like, I feel like a lot of the meats can, a lot of the things we actually tried are like that, you know, they're not basted in and stuff, and uh, so you actually get to try, you know, how does this, how does this meat, cut of meat actually taste compared to another cut of meat? So I think that's... If you're looking to like find out what you actually like, you know, it's a good way to go about it. I like knowing that this is what it tastes like. Like you, get, you really get the flavor of the meat. Yeah. 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 I think that's important. So what was your guys' favorite favorite thing? I think the lemon. <laughs> Not lemon. Those <laughs> ribs. Think, we we ordered blue, more of the yeah. ribs because we, like, we yeah. really like them. Blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the lemon pepper whip. What about, what about what we'll about everything? Oh, the wine. Probably the bananas. <laughs> those were more though. God bless. The last, I could eat so many of those. <laughs> the last video I made here too, that's the, um, the my girl. colleague said. Yeah, the bananas. The bananas. Yeah. And so everybody in the comments was like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. How can you think that that's the best thing <laughs> But it is. It is. But it, yeah, I mean, I, I just really I agree. like it's bananas. Good. It's really good. All right, guys, well, thank you for coming and uh, trying all the stuff. It's great. I hope yeah, you guys thanks had fun. for having us. It was delicious. Um, we have a bottle of wine to finish, so uh, we'll see you guys next time. Espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana. E tchau, tchau. Tchau. Say tchau. 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 I know tchau. <laughs> Hello. Brian? Uh-huh. Hi. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm waiting here for a long time. Hello. 
Hey. Hi. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 